Okay, everyone, time for Navionics map upgrade, which is really exciting. If you're not familiar with Garmin Express and whatnot, please check out my other video for more info on that. Hey, everyone, thanks for watching this update video. Now, to get started, first you want to update your unit to the uh, latest update for the actual unit, not the mapping. So go to Garmin, Canada or US, depending where you are, products, marine, fish finders. You scroll down towards the bottom of their page here on the left. You're going to see software updates. Mine is an echo map. So I'll go to that. Now here you can look at all the units that are included with this update. And as you can see, there's a whole, whole whack of them. So there's mine. I just thought I'd go in and look at some of the differences. Nothing too exciting. If you are really techie and you want to see all the differences, there you see there's an update for the PS22. And further on down, there's some other some other changes that they've made. But imagine it just usually makes the unit uh, work a little smoother and a little better. Now, if you're not sure on how to get all these Garmin download tools and how to use it all. Um, go ahead to the last video I did in 2018 on updates and it actually explains this stuff a little bit better. Um, I just didn't see the need to go through that a second time. So let's just go ahead. We're gonna download this update and we'll come right back. Okay, so the update is done. Well, would you look at that? The Apple doesn't want to open it and extract the files. Let's see if I can get that to work. I'm not sure it's going to work on the Apple. That's not the right thing. That's it right down there. No. Okay, so unfortunately, if you're using an Apple computer, the software update is not going to want to extract the files that you can put onto the memory card and actually use on your Garmin unit. So I'm just going to go ahead, quit while I'm ahead here, and I'm going to go ahead and do this part of the update on my Windows computer. Um, again, I've done that on my last update video for the Garmin. So you can go ahead, watch that video, follow the same instructions, and it'll work. And then we'll come back to the Mac, and I'll upgrade the mapping on the unit. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we go. Before we update the maps, once again, we're going to have to update the actual software on the unit. So I've done that like I talked about. There you can see the versions that are on there. Like I talked about, I had to use the Windows computer to um, actually extract the files. Again, check my uh, last update video that I did last year on more about how to do that on a Windows computer. So we're just gonna start it up here, get that SD card into the unit and update the software. So I'll just put the card in. Should pop up automatically. There we are. Choose update software. Yes. I have this hooked up onto my uh, ice fishing setup this time, so it's working a little bit, a uh, little bit nicer. Okay, and this is just going to take a little while. I'm not sure how long, but I'll go ahead and cut here and come back when it's done. Okay, there we go, 100%. So it should restart here and upgrade the software. Software loading. 
And I know that this takes uh, a little bit of time again. So remember, I am cutting this, so this will take longer than it looks like in the video. So I'll come right back when this is closer to being finished. Okay, so this is almost done here. Just a few more seconds and it should be done. There we go, it's restarting. Loading our maps. Okay, there we go. So our software is all uh, up to date. You can go into your settings, system, system information, and you can look and that uh, is a good way to double check that you have the right software update in there that you're looking for. So now that we have the software all up to date on the unit, we can go ahead and get to the, uh, the map part, the part that we all really want. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and upgrade our mapping on our Garmin unit to the new G3 mapping. First you have to go into that Garmin Express, choose your vessel. Now we're just going to check for available updates. There shows the one that you have now. It's 2018. So there it is, the 2019.0. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to purchase it. I uh, thought it was going to be free, but it doesn't look like it is. Looks like I'm a few days over my one year, so they won't uh, honor that. But anyways. So you just go ahead here. And... I put in my name, address, all that stuff, your credit card information, and I'm just going to skip to the end. I'm going to do, I'm going to edit that out of here. I'll show you at the end when you're done purchasing it so you don't see all my info. Okay, so I've gone through, entered all that other information that they wanted. Now it gives you your uh, total there, or tax and whatnot. They check that you're buying the right product. So now it uh, is at the final step and it wants your credit card information if you're having to pay for that. So go ahead and put that in and I'll just skip ahead past that. Okay, so there we have it. It's all paid for. Now we'll click here to view the maps that we have available. And there you can see it. There's our 2019.0. So we'll go ahead and download that. There in tools, you can see the two units that I have registered that that's going to be good for. That mapping will be good for both those units. Continue. Just accept and agree to that stuff. I named my SD card um, Garmin SD so I know exactly what card it is when I'm doing all my updates and uh, you know copying recording my charts and whatnot so as you can see this will take a while I'm obviously going to uh, cut here and we'll come back right when it's done as you can see it's still moving along quite well here so that's good now if you've gotten this far and you're not really sure on my video of how to go ahead and get this uh, Garmin Express and um, exactly how how that works and stuff go ahead um, watch one of my videos I did from last year on a Garmin update and I explained much better how to get this Garmin Express and how the Garmin Express kind of works and stuff so still trucking along here we'll come back when it's done okay so that should be just about done there we go download complete for those two units
click OK. And now that part is done. Go ahead, it's on your SD card. You can see it there. So that's good. Make sure that you uh, go ahead and eject your SD card before you remove it. So perfect. We've gone go ahead and done that. We can take the SD card out. Now we can move on to the unit. Okay, so we'll go ahead here, fire up our unit. Now I've installed the memory card before the unit starts up. That's wrong. Don't do it that way. Um, go ahead, leave the memory card out of the unit. Um, stick it in once the unit is all booted up. Doesn't hurt anything. It just didn't. Uh, it just didn't register it. That's all. So there we go. Take it out. Put your memory card in. It'll just take a few seconds. There it goes. Automatically pops up. It's reading it. You can see towards the top there, G3 detail map, right there. Go to update built-in map. Yeah, it'll take a long time. And not enough memory for built-in map upgrade. You don't have any choice but to press OK. Um, not very thrilled about that, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead here, see what workarounds we can do for that. Okay, so I've talked to some people in the world of Garmin, and there doesn't really seem to be much of a workaround for this. Um, unfortunately, it's just a problem with many Garmin units, I guess. They didn't put enough memory in them. Kind of silly, but anyways, the mapping will work. What you have to do is we're going to have to leave the memory card in the unit itself these units only have one slot so that's really frustrating because I don't imagine it's gonna record mapping very well while it's reading mapping from the same memory card I could be wrong hopefully I am um, also in doing this I've discovered that my one memory card slot in one of my units the memory card slot doesn't actually hold the memory card in it just keeps springing out and I can't get the memory card to read in one of my units so hopefully Garmin helps me out with that but anyways, let's go ahead here. I do end up getting it to work. So let's skip to that and I'll show you how it works and the differences. And the difference are the differences are pretty big. So just give me one sec here and we'll get to that. Okay guys, so as you've seen, I definitely had some technical issues with uh, this part of the install. This echo map, and from what I understand, all echo maps don't have enough memory to use and update the maps internally into the unit, which is very unfortunate that Garmin didn't have the hindsight to put enough memory into the unit. It's very cheap to put memory in these days. Why they wouldn't put enough memory in, I don't know. But anyways, they didn't. So in order to get it to work, the only way I could get it to work is to leave the SD card inside of the memory slot. Now the problem for me with that is that one, I like to record my sonar to get more accurate mapping as I go, as many of you probably do. I'm not sure how it will affect that. I imagine it won't work properly, but I don't know. I'll let you know how that works when I get the boat out in the spring. The other issue I have is I've found out that one of my Garmin units that is maybe these units are a year old. If they are a year old, they're just like maybe a week or less than a week. Um, old from a year which means I might be a week or a day out of warranty um, one of my memory card slots does not work I haven't used the memory card slot for a long time since the first week I bought the unit so hopefully Garmin will help me out with that um, either way I'll let you know if they help me out that the memory card slot doesn't work or if they don't help me out I'll uh, definitely update that but let's get back to this new Navionics mapping update for your Garmin. It does work if you leave the card in. So let's go ahead. Let's look at the differences and see how it works after we've gone through all this. So here is, this is the Bay of Quinney. 
doesn't really matter where I'm looking. I just want to show you the difference. So this is what it looks like on the standard Garmin mapping here. A little bit of detail there. You know, pretty basic out here. There's not really much. Now it's just going to take a sec. I'm going to show you the air will pop up when I put the SD card in. So like I was saying, this is how you go through. This is how you would update it. It's looking at the maps. Update built-in map. Yes. Not enough memory for the built-in map upgrade. Great. Okay, there's nothing you can do. It gives you no options. But if you go back, it reads it off of the card. And there is an absolutely tremendous more amount of detail in this map than there was off the old uh, Garmin one, the G2. So, I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. I'm a little upset that it doesn't work without the card in the unit. I'm a little upset that I had to pay for it. When I bought these units, I was told I was going to get this upgrade for free. Now I had to pay for it. So, there's definitely a lot more detail on here. If you have a newer Garmin unit, hopefully it has more uh, more memory in it. It's cheap enough, guys. Like, come on, put more memory in your units. Other than that, I've really liked the unit. But uh, now with it uh, doing this, and I got to have that card in there, and I can't record as I go. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to uh, keep these or... So I'm going to have to upgrade to a newer unit. I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, there you go. There's definitely tons more detail in this G3 map upgrade. So totally up to you, of course, if that's something that you want to purchase or if you, purchase or if you want to go through with this. But, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you... Oh, that might be Garmin messaging me right now. Yeah, that's uh, someone from Garmin messaging me right now to try and get this thing to... Uh, get the memory card slot to work yeah so there's definitely tons more detail the mapping's better there's probably way better mapping on on other lakes that weren't included with the uh, Garmin G2 mapping I'm not a hundred percent sure but as you can see way more detail is it worth it I don't know that's up to you if it's free of course it's worth it if you have to pay for it I don't know now I gotta leave this card in here I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to record my uh, sonar data anymore as I go with this map card in here. And uh, it's up, totally up to you. But uh, now at least you see there is a big difference in the mapping. So thank you very much everybody for watching. Hope you watch some of my other videos. And uh, check you later. Have a great day. Bye.